This book is Curious George at the Aquarium. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George and the man with the yellow hat were visiting the aquarium. George said, "The man, please wait here while I buy the ticket." George tried to wait, but he was so excited. What was inside? He wanted to look over the walls, but they were too high. Just then, he heard a splash and a whoosh. Water flew high into the air. People cheered. What could, what could that be? George was curious. He hopped over the gate into the aquarium. How surprised he was! Swimming right in front of George was two beluga whales. The mother and the baby beluga whale swam right past him. And not far away was a family of sea lions, diving and splashing. What fun! George noticed people walking toward a big door. Could there be more to see? He followed the crowd. Now where was he? It was darker inside, and there were fish everywhere. George did not know where to look first. In one tank there were sharp-toothed piranhas. In another tank, tank there were seahorses. In another tank there was a large octopus. George saw a group of children across the room. A, an aquarium staff member was pointing to different sea creatures. This is a starfish. This is a clam, and this is an urchin. Nearby, there was a long, low, colorful tank. It was perfect for touching. George was curious. As he reached his hand into the water, a large crab came st- scuttling from under a rock, right. Toward his finger, snap! Ouch! Poor George. He didn't like this exhibit. Do not touch. George slipped out a door into the sunlight. But oh, what was going on here? George saw a fat, funny-looking black and white fish under the water. He watched as they flew. As he watched, they flew up out of the water. What kind of fish does that? And where did they go? George wondered. Where penguins live? George climbed up and into their exhibit. They were not fish at all, but penguins, of course. George hopped like a penguin, flapped his wings like a penguin, and waddled like a penguin. A crowd gathered and laughed. But when he slid on his belly like a penguin, the aquarium staff stopped by to check out, check on the penguins. A monkey in the penguin exhibit. George opened the door to escape, but instead, all the penguins ran out. Penguins, penguins everywhere! The staff was angry at George. How could they catch all the penguins? In all the excitement, nobody noticed the penguin chick falling into the water. No one but George. The baby penguin hadn't learned how to swim yet, as only a monkey can. George scattered the rope hanging over the beluga tank and swung over to the water and saved the chick. The director of the aquarium and the man with the yellow hat heard the commotion and came running. That monkey helped the baby penguin," said the boy in the crowd. "No one else could have saved him," said the girl. The director thanked George for his help and made him an honorary staff member of the aquarium. George said goodbye to his new penguin friends. He could not wait to come back to the aquarium and visit them again. The end. What was your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is 
Where George saw the octopus.